What is up, guys? It's Cove, and I'm back from a week-long vacation, followed by a week-long sickness. Don't worry, didn't have COVID, and I feel perfectly fine now. Just had a really bad cough, and I couldn't, uh, I think I had pneumonia from duck hunting, honestly. But, it's been a lot of, um... Outrage from CCs in this game about the holiday boxes and all of the all of the basic not getting everything from 200 boxes as you may notice I have all five tanks in my garage, and uh, yeah, interesting. I did not get all the styles, but that is also because last year I did not open any boxes because I was poor last year. Um, last year was a really bad year for me economically, so... I didn't buy any boxes. You gotta make these conscious decisions before you spend an astronomical sum of money <laughs> on a game that you may or may not play for more than a hundred hours a year. Let's just go with that. Uh, so what did I get? F how many boxes did I get? What did I get from them? I still have my stats up. I've opened 237 boxes. I had money to spend on boxes this year i i got 43 vehicles including six tier 8 premiums for the styles 177 days of premium which is a good thing because i was about to run out um sometime this year uh nearly 120,000 gold just from gold drops 14.6 million credits Boxes suck, obviously, again, this year, obviously. Now, I do want to check in with uh, our favorite content creators, Skill and Quickie Baby, the two most popular, obviously. See what they have to say about these loot boxes. And go! Um, from let's say 200 boxes you used to get literally everything and you was chilling like this nowadays you are not even close to uh, go in the middle literally so if you would pay attention of the decorations what we have number of years that I've been highly critical about gambling inside video games and having loot box mechanics that have random rewards inside them. There were three main aspects that I detested about this. Number one, there was no guaranteed chance that you would be able to get all of the new content and that people would have to spend far more money than they had anticipated. There are stories from years ago. Um, and uh, well, if you, uh, if you haven't noticed there, they kind of, uh, they kind of counteracted each other. And uh, the reason why you're not getting as much stuff in your loot boxes this year, skill, is because Wargaming has solidified the drop chances of these tanks and these gold drops and the lower tier tanks and the styles. Now the reason I didn't get all the styles is because I didn't have last year's styles so obviously I wasn't gonna get all 11 styles I believe there is for these boxes if you didn't get any last year there's 11 styles you could get at a 5% chance so if you open 50 boxes right you should get like two styles maybe three if you open 75 boxes, you should get like five, three, 
my math is wrong right now. So anyway, but what it works out to with the with the tier eight premiums is one of the things that Skill kind of goes on and on and on in his video about is not getting the tier eight premiums until you get to the fifty box limit. With a two point four percent chance of getting one of these tanks, you're going to get one every fifty boxes. Regardless of the chance. But the chance has now become useless because really you pretty much just have a 2% chance and then you occasionally have a 0.4% chance of getting that tank earlier because of the compensation mechanic in these boxes. So the reason you're not getting as much gold even though you're still getting plenty of gold, I don't know why everybody's complaining about these loot boxes like they're just awful. The reason you're not getting as much gold from getting tier 8 premiums is because you're not getting as many tier 8 premiums, but at least you can get all five before you get a duplicate. They did implement that. So you will get all five premiums before you get a duplicate. Unless you already own one. If you already own one of the, either the Skoda or the 122TM, you can get that as a duplicate before you get all five tanks. This is something I don't think they really understand about <laughs> what what's going on here. Because I literally got these almost in order. I got the Caliban, and then I got the Tornvon, and then I got the M4Y, and then I got the 122TM, and then I got the Skoda. And then I bought 12 more boxes to get a duplicate so I could get 10,000 gold for $26. And I got the M4Y again. So, after... You get all five tanks. It is completely random what you get. But Wargaming has guaranteed that you will get all five tanks before you get a duplicate. Unless you already have either the 122TM or the Skoda T56. Now, I got a lot of 500 gold drops. And I don't remember getting a single 1000 gold drop. I didn't re remember getting a single seven days of premium. And I got a ton of 500,000 credits. Now I got six premium, tier 8 premium tanks, right? The same mechanic applies to the low tier premiums. So, you get all five before you get a duplicate. Or at least that's the way it has worked. That's the way it worked for me. I don't know if that'll work for everyone that way. On the, on the low tiers. On the high tiers, it has worked that way for literally every person that I've seen open the loot boxes. They have not gotten a duplicate before they've gotten all five. Now, open 237 boxes, I got six tanks. That's better than the compensation mechanic. But, only one tank better. You're not going to get, like, eight premiums like you did two years ago. But you also won't get the same premium over and over and over when you want a specific premium. The, way, the reason they did this is so that you could get all five premiums without spending thousands of dollars on boxes. <laughs> but I have to reiterate the point of the reason why this isn't gambling. And the only country that sees it as gambling is Belgium. Well, Belgium just bans all loot boxes in general. Regardless of what is in them and what, you know. So, for three large boxes, it is about $6 U.S., you get 250 gold guaranteed. Guaranteed. That's 750 gold for six bucks, which is the going rate of gold in the game. 
you also get a decoration for free. Which means you're going to get extra credit boost. On top of that, you will either get one of these three pretty much every time. I don't know why it says 86% drop chance. I think that's just an 86% drop chance that you're going to get one of the three. Or... I don't know. That's the weirdest thing about this. Because I got one every single time and I opened nearly 250 boxes. And I paid for these boxes. I am not a CC. I got six vehicles. Tier 8 vehicles. Quick math tells you. I got 37 tier 2 and 5. I got Four of the styles, two of the new ones, two of the old ones. I got the Sheridan and the VZ-55. And I got the Guncock and the Mouse. Yes. Now, I will release a video on the three new tanks, probably. I'll probably do, actually, all five. And you'll see that in the next couple of days. Um... But yeah, for those of you wondering why, like, I don't know. You feel like you're not getting as many tier 8 premiums in these boxes. You feel like Wargaming nerfed them. Wargaming didn't nerf them. Everybody was everybody was begging them to show the chances and give them a compensation for not getting a vehicle over time. And that has inadvertently given you less gold because you're not getting as many premiums. But you're also not getting the duplicate premiums until you get all five. So really, the the sides, or the people on the side of, hey, we want every single premium, have screwed over the people on the side of, hey, we want as much gold as possible. So you're fighting against each other, and none of this is Wargaming's fault, because all they're doing is listening to logical ideas from both sides. Like, they are logical ideas from both sides. They would have fixed the problem with literally the compensation mechanic if they didn't give you each tier 8 premium. But guess what? You're still getting a tier 8 premium every 50 boxes, which 50 boxes equates to about a hundred dollars but you're also getting a war chest for that hundred dollars yeah actually it doesn't equivalent well if you buy them three at a time it equivalents to hundred dollars but normally if you're buying 50 boxes you want to get the big one or the or the slightly larger one like one of these two just to make sure that I don't know you don't pay six dollars Every three boxes, if you're buying 50 boxes. Be smart with your money, guys. Please be smart with your money. If you don't have the money to spend on these boxes, don't buy the boxes. Right? <laughs> but don't... I would really wouldn't want anybody to complain and here, it, they even say you're guaranteed to receive a random premium tier, t tier 8 vehicle from the set list below that you don't have yet. So you're guaranteed to get them all five before you get a duplicate. Unless you already have the 122TM. Or let's go to T56. So guys, be smart with your money. If you don't have the money to open the boxes, don't open the boxes. <sighs> Please. Yes, the styles are cool. The tanks kind of suck, except for the Skoda, to be entirely honest. Um, actually, the Caliban's pretty good, too, which is surprising. And the Bofors is broken in a different way it's so underpowered and overpowered at the same time it's weird um just be smart with your money if you feel like you can't spend the money on the boxes 
don't spend the money on the boxes. I personally needed gold for like the last three months. So I bought boxes to get gold and premium tanks. I wanted this to go to T56. I'll have you know, that was the last tank I got. The one tank I wanted was the last tank I got after 220 or 200 boxes. It was my reward for 200 and my 200th box, I think, or somewhere around there. That is the only reason I spent that much money on these boxes. So please, guys, if you don't have the money to spend on these boxes, I can't say this enough. Do not buy the boxes. Pay your bills. Buy your family Christmas presents. <laughs> Holiday gifts. Please. <laughs> Be smart with your money. Don't blame Wargaming because you don't have any money. When you didn't have the money to spend on these loot boxes. Guys. Seriously. The styles are cool. The tanks are cool. Like. The tanks are fresh and new. Like. But. The M4Y will go on sale. There is an entire tech tree coming out for that type of tank. It will go on sale. The 122TM may be in the advent calendar. The T56 will probably not ever go on sale again, though. Because it is broken. The Bofors Tornvon, I don't know about. And the Caliban, I don't know about. Those are kind of just weird tanks. And I, I feel like they're going to be kind of like the Basante in the fact that I haven't seen it go back on sale since it was in the loot boxes. And, but that's the only tank I've ever seen not go back on sale from the loot boxes. So, just be smart with your money. Don't, don't think of the boxes as being nerfed. Because the biggest draw of the boxes is the tier 8 premiums, right? And the credits and the premium time and the gold. Uh, they're just guaranteeing that you can get all five premiums without spending thousands of dollars. They're covering their own ass here, guys. They have to do this. So, just remember... Don't don't be dumb with your money like I was. <laughs> buy the boxes if you want them, but don't buy so many that you just like feel like you just have to buy more. Like that's gambling addiction. <laughs> first of all. Second of all, I don't think you can consider this gambling, but it's still gambling addiction because it's literally this pulling the lever on the slot machine, right? <clears throat> I think this is a really cheap way of learning you have gambling addiction, though. So, it's a, it is a good way to learn something about yourself. But, again, can't stress this enough. Don't buy the boxes if you don't have the money to buy the boxes if you got bills to pay pay your bills if you got loans to pay off pay your loans off the boxes are here to stay for an extended period of time they've been around for what five years now four or five years now how many collections we got here 2018 was the first year that they had camos for the collections don't think it was the first year of the loot boxes, though. I believe that was 2017 or 2016 when they had the loot boxes for the first time. But we're on our fifth year of loot boxes here, guys. Like, they're gonna stay. Don't worry about getting, like... Yeah, just don't worry about it every single year. Now, if you end up coming into some Christmas money. I mean, these boxes are going to be around until the, the beginning of the year. Beginning of 2022. So, just think about what you're doing before you buy the boxes, please. Don't bankrupt yourself buying these boxes. But if you're going to buy the boxes, don't think terribly about it. Like, Skill and Quickie Baby wants you to. 
all of the CCs want you to because they were fighting each other, so Wargaming didn't know which way to go, so they just went with the side, I think, personally, I think they went with the side of more of the quickie baby side where, I mean, he is the most popular content creator that they have, like it or not. But he he was pushing them to give rates, um, give a compensation, uh, make it not as gambling. And it's not anymore. It's just not. You can't look at this and say, oh, that's gambling. But you could figure out really quick that you have an addictive personality and you're addicted to gambling just from loot boxes but it's not gambling because gambling in literally means that you have something to lose you're risking something to get to attempt to gain something that is the definition of gambling you're risking nothing here because you're getting the gold that you're paying for but you're also chancing the fact of potentially getting more right so it's not gambling or it's no risk gambling. There's no way, there's no other way of putting that. There's either zero risk gambling or it's not gambling at all, but you can't say it's just flat out gambling, right? Anyway, I'm going to upload this video, make the review of the tanks, and you will see the review of the tanks probably later this week. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later. Deuces.